Hello everyone, I am Arvind Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can add failed razor pay payment details to your Airtable database automatically. Now, someone is paying you through razor pay payment gateway and his payment fails. Now what will happen? that data will automatically be captured into your Airtable database and a new row will be created into your Airtable database automatically. Now, to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation software service, Pabli Connect, which will help us connect Razor Pay and Airtable together. Now, if you want to learn this automation and how to do this, for that, you have to come with me to the screen. And now we are on our screen. So what you have to do, you have to go to the address bar and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y pabli.com slash connect and enter. And as soon as you will press enter, you will be redirected to this beautiful web page. Here, what you have to do is, <coughs> you have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. Now, if you already have an account, you can go for sign in. If you do not have an account, you can go for sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and it will also give you 100 free tasks every month from our side. Okay, so what we are going to do, I already have an account here. So I will just go for sign in. And now here I am going to select access now for Pebbly Connect. And now what you are going to do is you have to create a new workflow to create a new automation. So to do this, we will click on create workflow. And here I am connecting my razor pay to my air table. So I am giving it the name razor pay to air table. Okay, now I'll just click on create. Now here you can see you have two windows. First one is trigger, second one is action. So trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process and action is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. Now trigger is when this happens, action means do this. So what is happening here? Here we are taking a payment from razor pay which has been failed. Okay. So what we will do, we will select here payment failed here. Okay. Now you can see it is clearly written here how you can connect your razor pay account to your public connect account. This is your razor pay dashboard through webhook URL. So what you will do, you will copy this webhook URL and then you will follow these steps below. Okay. So it is written razor pay account go to webhooks, go to add new webhook, then add a new webhook, then select the event payment field and then capture the webhook response. So we have already been capturing the response. It is already waiting for the response. What we will do, we will go here. We will click on settings. We will click on webhooks. And here you have the option to add a new webhook. So you will click on add new webhook. Here you will paste the webhook that you copied from here and you will not mess up with these fields, secret and alert email. And here you have to select payment field. Okay. So you can see here it is written payment field. Just create a webhook for this. And now our razor pay account is connected to our Pabli Connect account. Now it is waiting for the webhook response. So whenever a person will pay us anything and if his payment will fail, the response will be received here. So we will go here and I have a few payment pages here. So, so I am going to choose a payment page here. <coughs> I am going to copy this and I am going to make a failed payment. Okay. So I will just choose my name here, Arpit. Last name is Sharma. Email is arpitsharma at the rate gmail.com and phone number is a dummy number which I'm using here. And now I'm just going to click on pay. 9876543526. Okay, pay. So here, let me put in a dummy card number. Expiry 
अर्पित कुमार शर्मा इज द नेम ऑन द कार्ड एंड दिस इज द सी वी वी एंड नाउ एज सुन एज आई विल क्लिक ऑन फेलियर यू विल सी द यू नो द रिस्पॉन्स विच इज हेयर इज पेमेंट फील्ड ओके नाउ वेन वी विल गो बैक हेयर हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव द वेब हुक रिस्पॉन्स एज पेमेंट फील्ड एंड वी हैव ऑल द डिटेल्स ऑफ द कस्टमर और द पर्सन हुज पेमेंट हैज बीन फेल्ड अर्पित शर्मा एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम फोन नंबर फर्स्ट नेम एंड लास्ट नेम ओके नाउ हेयर दिस इज माई एयर टेबल डेटा बेस वेयर I have named it Razor Pay Field Payments, and I already have first name, last name, email, and mobile number. So what I am going to do is now I am going to connect my Air Table here. So I'll just go for Air Table, and here I am going to create a new record. Now I will click on Connect. Now how are you going to connect? The way is very simple. Here it is written. Log in to your Airtable account and get your API key from the account section. So this is my Razor Pay. Uh, sorry, this is my uh, Airtable account and this is my account. From here, I am going to get my API key. So this is my API key. Just copy this and paste it here. Now click on Save. so this is my uh, air table database and here <coughs> i have so many base ids here let me go back here and let me show you these are all the base ids where i have one of my base id is as razor pay failed payment so i will click here and now i will click here and i will select my base id in which i want to work which is razor pay failed payments now you can see table name will automatically be taken in digital marketing course because the payment uh, which has been failed was for this course only now here what i am going to do i am going to use a technique called mapping now mapping will let me take the details from this window and it will let me put the details into these fields here in this window so what i am going to do it is asking me for the first name so first name is arpit so this is first name last <coughs> name is sharma so this is sharma now email email is arpit sharma at the rate gmail dot com and mobile number is this one where is it where is it okay here is it i was looking for the plus 91 mobile number so <clears throat> you can see these are all the details which i want to use in my air table database now i will click on save and send test request and as soon as i will do that you can see a new id has been generated in the air table database and these are the fields now we will go back here and we will see you can see a new user has been added here or i should say a new customer has been added here arpit sharma this is the gmail and this is the mobile number okay now let us try it one more time so i am just going to name it now as swati sharma email is swati sharma at the rate gmail dot com <coughs> and phone number is again a dummy number nine eight seven six five four six three seven five pay <coughs> and here i am just going to use a dummy card card holder's name is swati sharma cvv is something which i do not want to tell but it was 678 it was a dummy payment now here you can see that i am going to click on failure and as soon as i will click on failure we will have a new entry here okay so let me do that oh i am really sorry i should have been i should have clicked on failure before showing you that but i did not do that let me go back retry card pay skip saving card and failure so you can see payment has been failed and here 
now I have two uh, fields here, so I will explain you what happened. When I was showing you this uh, pay, uh, payment page, Razor Pay, the payment was automatically cancelled. If you would have seen or if you would have, uh, you know, observed the payment was automatically cancelled in Razor Pay. And when it was automatically cancelled, when I went back for card, a new entry here was made because that payment was not made. Okay. And when second time the payment was failed, when I, you know, uh, I selected the option failure, there is one more entry by her name, Swati Sharma. So you can say that whenever a payment will fail or a user or a customer will cancel the payment, you can see you will have the entry here in your Airtable database. So this is a very good uh, you know, what should I say? Very good example where we were just looking for failed payments and now we all we are also getting, you know, entry for the cancelled payments. So now you can understand whenever a person is cancelling the payment or the payment is failed, a new entry will be made here. Okay. Let me do it once again for you. First name is Sonam. Second name is Rai. sonamrai at the rate gmail.com dummy number again pay 400 <coughs> card dummy card again sonamrai and now verify <coughs> now again I am going to cancel the payment failure and as you can see, payment failed. And here we have one more new entry, Sonam Rai, Sonam Rai at the rate gmail.com and this is the number. So friends, this is how you can connect your Razor Pay and Airtable together so that whenever a payment will be failed in the Razor Pay payment gateway in your account, an automatic database will be created in your Airtable record so that if you want to contact that person or if you want to inform that person, you can easily do that through these details. Now, if you loved this workflow and if you want to clone this workflow, you can just go into my description box and clone it into your account. But for that, you need an account and for that, you need to go and sign up. So what are you waiting for? Go and sign up now because we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side. Hasta la vista. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to add it in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you